Good morning, everyone. How are you today? So yesterday we talked about measuring and estimating mass. Today we will be solving mass problem. Just a quick hint. Remember that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And also while solving mass problems, we will be using the four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Open page 651 and let's go through example number one together. The bucket balance shows the mass of one marker. What is the mass of five markers? Let's take a look first on the bucket balance we have here. It's the same like I showed you yesterday in the video. We place the weigh in one side and the objects on the other side. This marker shows that it weighs 8 grams. We need to find what is the mass of 5 markers. So we have the same amount which is 8 grams repeated 5 times so we will use multiplication. We will find the unknown 8 multiplied by 5. Here in the book we have our helpful hint. You can also use repeated addition. As we said, 8 grams repeated 5 times will help us in calculating the total mass of the 5 markers. So let's find 5 markers are 8 grams each. So we will multiply. 8 multiplied by 5 is? Yes, it's 40. Now let's move to example number 2. What is the total mass of the two pieces of fruit. We will write an equation with a letter of unknown. Then we will solve. Here we have an apple and a banana. An apple weighs 216 grams and the banana weighs 132 grams. So we will add both together to find the total of the two pieces of fruit. 216 plus 132 equals F. What is F? F is the unknown. Let's add together 216 plus 132 equals, remember we start with the ones place, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 1 is 3. So what is the total amount? Yes. The total amount is 348 grams. Let's move to the guided practice. It says, write an equation with the letter of the unknown, then solve. What is the mass of nine bottles? Let's take a look at the picture here. Here the bucket says that one bottle is equal to four grams. So what nine bottles will be equal to? Again, we will multiply. 9 multiplied by 4 grams. It will be, yes, it will be 36 grams. Moving to number 2. What is the mass of one jack? Let's take a look at the picture. How many jacks do we have? Let's count them together. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. So we have six jacks. All of them together weigh 30 grams. How can we find the mass of only one jack? Yes, we will use division. So we will divide 30. Oh, that's too big. So we will divide 30 grams among the six jacks. It will be equal to? Yes, it will be equal to five grams each. Now I want you to go and solve your independence practice on page 653. Show me your work on Class Dojo and of course if you have any questions just send me a message. Talk to you tomorrow.